Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll talk about how I switched from biology or that field in general, medical biology, and uh, shifted focus to computer science, IT, tech, and if I believe like that's the good decision that I made and what prompted me to make that change and also what um, benefits and also if I'm happy with the decision and um, also like was it difficult and all that kind of stuff because I know a lot of people are trying to switch their major or switch their focus from you know let's say biology to IT or IT to biology and some people don't even know what they want so maybe this video will kind of help you out a lot or even a little <laughs> So yeah, my background was biology uh, in my plus two, which is uh, 11 and 12 grade. I had studied um, biology. I did not study mathematics um, or computer science. Um, so there's two fields, right? Biology or it's like maths. And I did not choose maths, which was necessary to go to computer science path in Nepal. I chose biology because I was so confident that I was going to be a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> jokes on me um i did not become a doctor <laughs> um but uh i can talk about what my thought process and all was so uh, i applied to i applied for mbbs scholarship mbbs means medicine right and i i did study a lot in 11 12 to make sure that i would get some sort of scholarship from my mbbs to become a doctor and i spent like two years in that feat but i didn't get in i didn't get the scholarship and at that point i was like well now what am i going to study and uh, there were really like not a lot of options. The first option was a chartered accountancy because it was also a very difficult course. Whoever didn't get into uh, MBBS program, they were like doing a CA because it was a really tough course and the money was kind of good after graduation too. So that's where my initial thought was like I even went to uh, chartered accountancy like uh, admission consultation with my dad and uh, they gave me some books and stuff and I was like starting to read. I was like, on it and I'm so glad I didn't do that uh, but after that earthquake happened and I was like oh shit I gotta get out of the country because I don't know I just got scared I guess and uh, uh, I was like you know maybe it's, it's a good decision to um, do TOEFL and IELTS so I did my TOEFL um, and uh, uh, when I was applying to colleges in the in America I was still confused I was like what do I want to study um, and you know, when I was applying to America, I think the default choice for me was IT because I guess everyone else was doing that. No, I I don't even think I thought about biology for a second or like, you know, microbiology or any, any other like chemistry, any other major at all. When I thought about applying to America, it was just going to be for computer science because that's what America was kind of known for at least. Right. And at that time, the IT boom was happening. So I was like, you know, I'm going to do computer science. Let's see. Let's see how I feel. If I don't feel good, I'm going to change the major because that's one of the flexibility that U.S. University has is that you can always change your major even after first semester, second semester and whatnot. Let me just drink some water. Yeah. So, you know, I was like, OK, I'm going to do some computer science, um, uh, started learning some uh, basic like basic programming language. I think I started with Java. Uh, I was using Code Academy and uh, um, I was talking to some of my friends who were already here. I was like, how did you get into coding? And they were just like, you know, just learn online. And there were like plenty of resources like YouTube videos and uh, Code Academy. And this was back in 2015. So now you can imagine like things are very different. You have like a ton of resources that I feel like people don't even have to go to uh, a university to get like to be better at computer science. So those things happened. And, you know, I, um, I eventually... Uh, I struggled uh, initially um, because um, uh, I guess it was not just not just even um, because of me or my lack of skill, but because some of the professor were difficult and uh, had really hard homeworks and uh, uh, lab work. And that's something I struggled with. Um, and I think if I had given a lot more emphasis on computer science classes, because you know how in, in U.S. universities you have like several other classes that's not completely related to your major. For example, I had to study for physics lab or like religion and you know, drama and mm, all that. That took a major chunk of my time, like writing. Like uh, I, I'm, I used to have A in all the subjects, all the course maths or computer science subjects but I used to have like B in writing and that used to occupy a lot of time so it was kind of annoying that part but I think there were a couple classes in computer science that I really struggled with that was like data structure and algorithm but I think that was on me I 
I think if I had um, spent more time on reading that, you know, I would have been better uh, instead of uh, watching YouTube videos. Yeah. But uh, then that's that's that. I did that and uh, slowly started getting hang of it. Uh, I think it was until this um, class in junior semester where I actually built an app, a mobile app and a web application when I was like, oh, wow, this is kind of cool that I did it. I created a mobile app. And that was like really when it like started, uh, you know, making sense, everything started coming together, all the fundamentals that I've learned. Uh, and I, at this point, I was not even thinking about switching my major or anything. Like I was completely happy with the path I'd taken and looking forward to my job, like job after graduation. So I applied to internship, got internship at um, a consulting company in Boston. And after that, got a full time. And I really, I really love computer science um, and I love coding. Um, in fact, I'm more, I get more excited just working on my side projects and I have like ton of side projects compared to just, you know, working at work, which I also enjoy and it gives me good money. So I got to enjoy it. Um, but that's what the journey was kind of like. I think I don't regret not studying biology or chemistry or any other like, uh, uh, you know, field that was uh, not IT, uh, which I, I, I was leaning more towards. I think it was also, you know, how in Nepal it's like, oh, you are, if you're a girl and you're really good at studies, you got to be a doctor. Um, and <laughs> I think that was also in the back of the head or, or like doctor or some like biology major, microbiology, something like that. Um, but um, yeah, um, I mean, I, I have not regretted any second of it. Um, were there doubts for sure, but I think I made the good choice looking looking at it because right now everything is tech and there's a lot of problem solving and obviously it pays well and it's a job that, you know, you can apply anywhere, you know, and get a job. You can do like freelancing. Um, so I think it's a good decision to do computer science. And um, if you're debating on whether or not you want to do it, if you like problem solving, if you like... Uh, well, you know, try try coding actually. Try coding if you really like it, or uh, try building something for your family. Try building an app for your dad or mom or sister, you know, or yourself, um, and see if you like it. If you like the problem solving aspect of it, if you if you feel happy when someone else is using your product, then you you really know that coding is for you. And I'm just glad that you know I get to work from home remotely, and I know a lot of other um, jobs don't have that flexibility, and I really value that because uh, I don't like commuting. <laughs> uh, but you know, if you're, if you're debating what to study, it's, it's like difficult. People are like, follow your passion. But I, I say, do something that, um, that will make you earn good money. And also, um, you are enjoying it. You know, you're not just doing it for money. Because I know some people who absolutely hate their job. And their job is coding. And they, they don't like it at all. They're like, after I get my green card, I'm going to leave this job, you know, th th at that point. Um, for me, I think because I was already good at math and I was like a good studious person, I, I liked I liked coding uh, because there's like a lot of problem solving there, um, a lot of trying to find the answers and, you know, the technical side of my brain, I think, works better. <laughs> so overall, I, I would say I made a good decision. But it's also tricky. I understand that for a lot of people, you guys probably don't know what you are you should be doing and uh, are probably lost. Um, and my only advice for those students would be to try different classes. If you are in US, like I said, you can try multiple classes. You can try accounting, you can try biology, you can try chemistry and see which one you like, you know, which one sparks joy. And you can also do things on the side, like what kind of things that you like reading about or looking you know, looking at, and um, maybe you'll find an answer there. Um, but I also think one of the things that I've noticed is like, you know, how we think that let's say if we, we study something that we will probably be stuck with it for in our entire life. At least that's what the, our older generation, uh, they did, right? They used to study in a field and then they used to get a job and stay in that job for 30 years, retire and that was their life. However, nowadays, it's so different. It's like uh, people pivot, people change career, people have different, uh, you know, people experience layoff, and then they have to upskill, and then they have to uh, 
um, learn something new, go back to college. And then let's say they don't, they don't, they realize that they don't actually like that job. So they are like, oh, I really want to try something else. And that's, that's part of life. You know, life never goes as planned, right? So don't sweat much. Um, and uh, you can always pivot, right? You can always pivot. Um, so for me, the focus was I wanted to earn good because I had to up up level my, my family's financial situation and as well as myself. And I would say computer science degree has allowed me to do that, you know. Um, so, and then I realized that I also like doing it. So it's a good thing because even now during my free time, I will like, I'll be coding. You'll find me coding in my free time. And I, I, and I like it. Like people are like, how do you do this? I'm like, I, I really enjoy it. So that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't have done it, right? Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. And yeah, gotta, gotta keep upskilling and um, leveling up. Speaking of learning new things, this video is brought to you by our sponsor Brilliant. Thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video. You know, ever feel like learning something new is way harder than it should be? Whether it's math, science, computer science, sometimes it just feels like you're staring at a wall of confusion. So that's where Brilliant.org comes in. It turns complex concepts into bite-sized interactive lessons that actually make sense. So you learn by doing, not just watching. You know, it's like having a personal tutor, but way more fun, way more visual, and you literally see yourself getting smarter. So if you're ready to level up your brain, check out Brilliant.org. You're gonna love learning again. And if you head over to Brilliant.org slash Squiddy Lamsal, you also get a 30-day free trial and 20% off your annual subscription. You can also scan this QR code. And thank you for watching.